my affordable Charlotte Tilbury look. I am Laura Ray. I have some great alternatives to Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury, but the price is high. And a lot of us can't afford it or we need to put our money into other things. So I'm not going to say any of these are dupes, but these are what I use as replacements for the Charlotte Tilbury products that I've purchased in the past. I love Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows. They're gorgeous. I love the shades. But I found this from Kiko Milano and it's beautiful. It definitely has that Charlotte-esque look to it, the packaging, but it is paper. It's not the plastic packaging that is in my eye palettes that I purchased from her. But boy, these shadows work great. They blend smoothly on the eye. Now, what I have found is that the technique you use, or the brushes rather, can be really important to getting the look that you want. So I went in with this Jillian Dempsey brush. I've never found a better brush for blending eyeshadows. It is amazing because of the fan shape. And what I've done today is I've taken the light shade, gone all over the mobile lid, blended it up. Then I took some of the brown and mixed it with it to soften the look. I blended a little of this in the corner of the eye and underneath the eye. Another thing I wanna mention is one of my favorite tools are these wonderful cotton swabs. They're not like a Q-tip at all. They're not fuzzy where fuzz gets in your makeup. And boy, these work great for blending. What I did is I dipped into the brown here to do my liner and just smudged under the eye to get that Charlotte-esque look that her models have. I'm definitely not a model, but I love the look that she does on her models. And I blend into the brown and just went like this. Now, another trick I did was I went into the brown here went to the lower uh, lash line, right where my eyes meet in the corner, and sort of rolled up to give a little lift on this. And then I just blended it out. But this gives the eye a nice lifted look, and it's all done with this Q-tip. I purchased the Beautiful Skin Foundation when it came out, and I liked it, but I didn't think it gave my skin that much more beauty than normal. I found that some of my drugstore foundations work just as well. So I'm not going to repurchase this because I love this. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, that's what I'm wearing right now. And it just gives my skin such a nice natural look, yet a step up from other looks that I get from other foundations. If you have dry skin, I think it's very moisturizing and it would work. But another one I like is the Catrice True Skin. This is beautiful, a little fuller coverage. So if you have dark spots that you're trying to cover, I think this is a great foundation. This reminds me of one of Charlotte's other foundations. I think the Hollywood Filter, that, that foundation, I've purchased that too. That's a little heavier formula than her beautiful skin. But this is the foundation I have that reminds me the most of this, the texture of it but I actually like the look of this better. One of my wonderful subscribers here on YouTube and a follower on Instagram messaged me and said, Laura, you need this. It's from Revolution, it's their eye brightener, but it is so much like the Charlotte Tilbury's wand for the contouring that's always sold out. So I bought it in the shade Caramel. That's the one she told me to get and it worked beautifully. It has a little luminosity to it. It has the same sponge applicator like Charlotte's. I just love it. So affordable, it blends so easily, and what a money saver. I am just loving Flower Beauty just as much as ever because they came out with this spotlight highlighter. It looks like the ones that Charlotte has. This is so affordable, it looks beautiful on the skin. Look, how much more beautiful of a highlighter do you need? They can only be so beautiful, right? And this is very affordable. I just love it. It has the same kind of sponge applicator and you just twist to open and I just dot it on my cheeks and blend it out. It's so easy and so beautiful. I wanted to mention that before I applied any makeup today, I tried something I've had in my drawer for so long and it's the Marshmallow Primer from NYX. I really think it gave me that Charlotte sort of prep face look. 
I love this. I can't believe I waited so long to use it. Now it has a slight scent and I'm sort of against scents because I have very sensitive skin, but boy, it didn't bother me at all. And the marshmallow smell was around for a little bit, faded away and gave my skin such a beautiful look to prepare for putting on foundation. I love this blush from Charlotte. It's a shade Ecstasy. It's beautiful. It looks great on the cheeks. I have nothing negative to say about it. If you can afford it and it's in your budget, I think it's a great product. But blush is so affordable and so great these days at the drugstore. I have some I want to share with you. I'm wearing this one from Wet n Wild right now. It's Hello Halo. It is beautiful. It has that very Charlotte-esque look. You could take these and go on to the eyes and use them as eyeshadow also. Now, another one I've loved for a long time is this one from Milani. It's number two. The shade is Bronze Burst. And I remember when I first purchased it, I thought it looks very Charlotte-esque. That's why I bought it. And it's got multiple shades in it that you can use in isolation and get several shades or swirl it all together and just get a beautiful look. Now, e.l.f. has really been hitting a home run with the Charlotte look lately. We know about the new products they're coming out with, and one is the Luminous Blush. I've added some of this into the powder. Now, what you can do, sometimes I put the uh, this kind of cream blush down first and put powder on top, and this gives me a long amount of coverage for hours. It'll 12, 14 hours of coverage. Or sometimes I'll put the powder and put this on top, if I want my skin to look a little more dewy. But either way, that will give you more longevity to your cheek products. These are all great alternatives to the cheek to cheek blush. I have a Charlotte eye pencil that's one of those that's a liner, but it's sort of powdery, but it's a mess and it ends up always smudging under my eyes and not in a good smudgy way. I love this one from Essence. It's their long lasting eyeliner. And all I did was I took my little Q-tip that I talked about, put on the liner and then smudged it out. This will last you all day and is so affordable. Charlotte's come out with a new bronzer. I would love to try it, but I think it's $58. It's pretty pricey. I'm already happy with this one from W7. It's their Bronze Chic Bronzing Balm. This is beautiful. It blends gorgeous on the skin, gives you that glow like you've been out in the sun and you have a tan. So I'm loving this and I'm saving some dollars. Lashes. I've tried Charlotte's Mascara. It's a great mascara, but I have a combination I like so much more. I am so into the tubing mascara because I feel like my lashes are getting better. I feel like my lashes are getting thicker, longer, and maybe the other mascaras I was using before were drying out my lashes too much. So I go in with one coat of Essence Double Trouble. This is for lengthening of the lashes. And then I go over with my L'Oreal Tubing Mascara. I do the primer and then the mascara and my lashes stay curled. They stay nice, no flaking. That's a big thing too. So I am loving this combination. I love so many concealers that are affordable, but the one that I use that is most like Charlotte's, I would say is the Mali. And I love this because I don't have to mix anything with it. Not a moisturizer, just nothing. And it works beautifully. She just hit it right on the nose for the perfect consistency of concealer for my mature eyes. So while this is still in the low 20 price range, usually a lot of times you can get it on sale on Amazon. I feel like it's worth spending a little more money because I love the look of it and it lasts all day. Let's talk powder. I've used Charlotte's Face Powder. I do like it. It is a beautiful formula, but I have some from the drugstore that I like even more. If you're looking for a powder to carry with you in your purse, I like this brand new one from Physicians Formula. This is their Butter Believe It. I don't really like the scent. You do get that coconut scent, but it dissipates quick and gives a beautiful look on the skin. 
I'm still in love with number seven. It's so finely milled. If you put a high price tag on this, people would pay it. It's that good. Charlotte's come out with some new makeup sticks. They look amazing, but they run around $75. I've talked about these from Nude Stick, and I'm wearing the lipstick today. Now, this could also be a blush, but what I love about it, it has that juicy look that Charlotte's products have. They go on so smoothly. Now, this set has a lipstick. This one here is for contouring. It's a matte shade. And then also, here's the highlighter. But I just love these. They work great. They give you that Charlotte-esque look without the price tag. I've heard so much about Charlotte's setting spray, and in all fairness, I haven't tried it, mainly because of the price. But I do know what I do love and what works, and this one does. Flower Beauty sealed the deal. It works great. I feel no desire to try something more expensive because I don't think anything could do any better. This hydrates my skin, it makes the skin look dewy, it keeps my makeup on. So I just love this and it's affordable. I would love to hear your favorite Charlotte Tilbury product that you feel is worth the money or if you have a replacement you love better, let me know that too. Please share with all of us and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss the giveaway. The giveaway this week is for my favorite sponge, the Stands Out Sponge. It's what I use today to apply my makeup. I just feel it gives such a beautiful airbrush look to the skin. So if you're interested, leave a comment. And don't forget, I upload on Mondays and Wednesdays now at 9 a.m. Eastern. I hope you'll tune in. I love you all so much. Have a blessed and beautiful week, and I'll see you soon.